Apple's newest iPhone OS, iOS 10, is coming in a more polished version in the fall, but it is available now for free as a public beta, and you can download and check it out for yourself. Be forewarned, it's an early peek at the software feature set that's coming, and it may not work perfectly on your phone, so don't use it on your primary device, but if you want to see what it's all about, these are the best things to check out right now. Raise to Wake. Maybe you have an Android phone that already does this, but finally, the iPhone can too. You can pick it up, and you can now see notifications without pushing any buttons. To open up the phone, you still need to press the home button, however. New Apple Music. Well, a new coat of paint. Apple Music on iOS 9 is weirdly designed, and it's really hard to figure out. Apple Music on iOS 10 has a whole new look you can explore. It's cleaner, but finding genres and songs may not necessarily be all that much easier depending on what you're looking for. Whether it's a better app remains to be seen. iMessages get funky. You probably heard, but iMessages can now do all sorts of wacky things. They work on iOS 10 public beta, too. Invisible ink, slamming, super large emoji, balloons, lasers, stickers, an emoji translating keyboard, marking up photos. iMessages will support third-party apps, but not yet. Right now, all you can play with are the four sticker packs and all the other weird features that are currently in it. Deleting stocks or iTunes or just about anything, you can remove Apple's core non-removable apps, or, well, most of them. They don't really get erased, but they get hidden. They're basically gone, and then you can get them back again via the App Store. But some apps still can't be removed, like Health, for instance, or the App Store. Memories. What this means is basically all your photos in Apple's iCloud are now scanned using machine learning to collect in a moments inside Apple's Photos app. They're organized by faces and places, kind of like Google Photos. This worked with my photo library after it sat and baked for a while, but I still couldn't get to play any of the promised cool memory videos that it does. Maybe you can. Bedtime reminders and wake-up music. In the Clock app, there's now a cool new feature to set bedtime reminders and track sleep, kind of like what Fitbit does. And best of all, there's also new music for wake-up alarms. Nice, gentle stuff. The music gently rises, and it made me feel more relaxed. Happy exploring. The final version of iOS 10 arrives in early fall.